Hello, welcome to MCSC 9320 podcast. And tonight we're going to be discussing City's greatest ever goalkeeper. With us tonight, we've got Anne Marie and John, as always. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Good evening. So, this is a bit of a difficult one, isn't it? Because what you've got to try and distance yourself away from, me included, is your favourite keeper rather than your best, because you could have a favourite keeper, for instance, like Arnie Arneson, you know, for the game against Spurs. Or you can't see anybody picking Simon Tracy, though, can you? No, probably not. See, so, what do you remember what he's best best remembered for the, the City shirt? Let him vibe in at Old Trafford. Did you know that then, John? No. No. I tried to forget it. Hmm? Things like that, I tried to forget. I know, I know. I, I can understand why. But, you know, we did the, the greatest ever, City's greatest ever Premier League team from, from the past 20 years, you know, a few nights ago. But I think this is more difficult because it's a specialised specialised position and we've had, we've even had keepers who have been great for us, but not necessarily great for other clubs. I'm not really bothered about talking about the likes of uh, Schmeichel and David Seaman because there was just, it, it was minimal. Although Schmeichel did have a good season for us, it'll always, or maybe I'm overthinking it, like I've just said. I would put him down as greatest or anything like that because he's, because he's a, it's tarnished, isn't it? Um, yeah, very much so. Um, you can't really put down your greatest keepers. And you say if one leaves and goes to the rags, then he can't really be a great keeper for us because he's done the worst thing possible that we could ever think of. So you talk about Tony Cole? Well... It wasn't Tony's fault, though. That's the problem. Tony did not want to go. He's, I've spoke to him personally about this, and I've, I've told my feelings about it, and he said, look, he said, I did not want to go. He said, City made me go. They sold me. He says, there's nothing I can do about that. But, and this is what I said at the start of the, start of the show, isn't it? We've got to try and differentiate ourselves away from that because yeah. CC was absolutely a phenomenal keeper for us. He really, really was. And just before we started recording, uh, Anne-Marie said that the first keeper she saw live was Frank Swift. So what, what was he like watching him, anne <laughs> Oh, you're a swine, savage. No, I told you, the first goalkeeper I ever saw was Joe Corrigan. And I thought he was a great goalkeeper. In it, in it weird, your first keeper you, you saw was Joe Corrigan. And the first keeper, just I think I was four years of age when I first saw Joe Hart. Yeah, hey, your nose is him. growing. No, right. So we've got the likes. The, old, the older generation who may, may not be watching this. They, they'll probably more than likely go for the likes of Frank Swift and obviously Bert Troutman. I can only, and I'm sure, I'm sure you two are the same, I can only speak for the keepers what I actually seen physically play for us. So you, you've got, yeah, you've got the likes of Willie Caballero, which I thought, yeah, obviously was our second keeper, but his contribution, he never let us down, did he, John? No, and he was an absolute fantastic penalty keeper, weren't he? And he will be one of my fantastic... Well, he's he's up there with one of a few... Even though he didn't play much for us, he's up there with one of them because of what he did against the Liverpool in that penalty shootout. That was amazing. He won us that game. Hey, on a, on a side note, that, that penalty shootout, that is the first time I've ever, ever fainted. It was, it was in the city end. And it... I just went, and I don't even. Did you, did you get your wallet out? They yeah, paid for a round. <laughs> I no one really fainted. <laughs> yeah, so I actually fainted in that. So I think I missed a couple of penalty saves while people were trying to get me round. 
don't mean get me round. Where have you been? I think I've been in the uh... sun. Too long. No, the pub too long. <laughs> <laughs> if I haven't been, if I'm being really, really honest. So you yeah, you didn't really faint then. You basically you collapsed. I don't know. I don't Drunken know. stupor. Yeah. So Anne Marie, did you like Big Willie? Yeah. <laughs> what? Um, and it's it's a strange one with him because the week before we'd played kids in the FA Cup against Chelsea and got hammered mm-hmm. and Big Willie was in goal for that game and didn't do himself any favours so everyone was kind of dreading the fact that he was going to be in goal for the Carabao Cup final against Liverpool and that, it was just like he had a point to prove in that game. And he did it. And he was amazing. Um, I don't think it had put him up there as one of my favourites or the best goalkeeper we've ever had. But, you know, he did a, he did a decent job for us whenever he came in. T- totally. So, even though... I've always got great... Aff- I've got great affection for Alex Williams. Mm-hmm. But... My memories of Alex Williams, sorry, Alex, if you ever get shown this, is he was always like that with the ball going over the back over the back of his head into the net. Now, he was a great keeper, great character, but again, we've got we've got to do it on ability, haven't we, John? Um, definitely on ability. Um, there's times when there's many, well, there's many a time he should have stopped the ball going up, like you said, going over his head. And he didn't. Um, it's not as though he had short arms. He was he was a big bloke. You know what I mean? And he just, for me, he just didn't seem quick enough on his reactions. Mm-hmm. I've been told as well by good authority, my brother used to go go karting with him, and he said he was just like in a in a go kart with his arms out, <laughs> trying to fit in a in a go kart like Super Mario. But yeah. Alex was a, a great keeper, City fan, but I'd, I'd have to... What's your memories, Anne-Marie, of, of big Alex? Well, the, the memories that I have, I always thought he was a half-decent keeper and I just think it was a shame because injury wrecked his career. Um, I think he's 100% credit to the club with everything that he does with City and the community and that should never be overlooked. Um, but again, I liked him when he played. But again, he wouldn't be, he wouldn't be top of my list. No. So straight on, straight on to that. You, you briefly mentioned Big Joe Corrigan. Happy seventy fourth birthday, Big Joe, tomorrow as well. By the way, um, uh, what's your, your greatest memories of uh, Joe in goal for us? Well, the memories, are, I mean, in honesty, the memories are few and far between, but I don't think he ever let us down. I was always disappointed that he went working at Liverpool. Um, but he was like a gentle giant when you met him. He still, uh, still is. Yeah, still yeah. is. And again, a credit to the club. And I, I think my biggest memories of him in the 81 Cup final. Um you know, I think he was. I think he was a. I think he was a good keeper. Again, I'm not sure I put him at the top of my list, but he'd be he'd be up there near the top. I'm Marie. Yeah. How do you remember that far back? <laughs> I have Women. a scary. Women I have never. A scary, <laughs> I have a scarily good memory, and things like the 81 Cup final will never ever leave me. I hate Tottenham with a passion because of that game. Uh, again, on a side note, I don't know if you saw it. I, I interviewed uh, Mickey Mickey Hazard uh, a few months ago, and we, and we spoke about that. And I had to concede that that goal of uh, mm-hmm, Ricky Villa—it's got to be the best FA Cup final goal. That it's got to be. And he's a, he's a great he's a great bloke as well, Mickey as well. But it's even as a blue. Should should Joe have stopped that? 
no chance. Should the should the defenders have tackled him? Yeah. Lots of questions you could ask, but for me, it it was the devastation of having to go into school the next day, primary school, probably being the college. Being the only, no, primary school. I was six. Uh, going into school and probably being the only city fan and being absolutely devastated that we lost the replay. Mm. So we've had, as I say, we've had, we've had keepers like Arnie Arneson, uh even Cas Casper Smichel. I thought Casper when he first, because if you remember, he was he was between him, Casper, Joe R. Who, who else? It was a. Uh, he was fighting. I think Sven said to him. You're going to get a run each. Whoever's the best will be the number one. And Joe ended up having that. But I thought I thought Casper had a lot of promise coming through. But if he had stayed with City, I, I think he would have been a proper world class keeper. No, no, I don't think so either. Right? Yeah, yeah I think he would have had a mistake in him, um, like most keepers do, but. I just don't think he would have cut it all uh, long term. Okay. None of us, although you do look it, John, would remember Bert Trauman. It, he'll always be, you know, long long before City was putting statues up of players. Uh, he's always had one in the main reception area. Yeah. As, as as Big Bert, and and right and rightly so because. It, it, Again, he was from all the footage and that I've seen, he was a fantastic keeper. So I can't I can't talk about that with the footage what I've seen. But well, look, obviously have you ever watched the film The Keeper? Yeah. Yeah. Amazing yeah. film. And it's all about Bert Troutman and what happened and the war and everything now came through and he did absolutely fantastic with City. Yeah, and it is you know, he deserved that statue, what what's in there. I just Ability. It's not just that what he did. It, it's the. It, it's what he did as well. You know, during the war, the way he he yep. brought he brought things together. But again, we're going to have to do it on ability. Let's go more more modern. The crackers, David James. He was either a world beater or a panel beater, wasn't he? Um, good striker. I, mean, I, I, I can understand why he's shaking it, but some of the. Some of this, the games he played for us was inc incredible. And then some of the other games he played for us was just, as I say, he went from world beater to panel beater, you know, in, in a game sometimes. But, I know, I, I, but the, really, for me, for me, he was, he was a decent keeper. But again, you look at him and you look at David Seaman and... There in itself, you've got two goalkeepers that were brought to us at, at more or less the end of their careers. And I'm not sure we got the best out of either of them. No, um, I, I agree. Seaman stained his reputation, really, didn't he? Hmm. Why are you smiling? Nothing. <laughs> Her mind's working overtime again. You know. Well, yeah. She got a really dirty mind, didn't she? Yeah. Because during that time with uh, with Ke Keegan, it, you know, it was like one England keeper after another. So I I just thought David James was a, a a great character, a great great keeper. I would put him up there as City's greatest, obviously, but he's got he's got to be mentioned in the same breath as there or thereabouts, in my opinion. Yeah, I think you've missed a few in between, though, Andy. Jumping yeah. to David James. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm, I'm. I'm doing. I'm, I'm going randomised. You know, I'm not just going. Okay, you're not going in, through the years then. No, I'm not going. I'm not going through the years because it keeps it more fresh, doesn't it? Okay. okay, let's go back to TC. Okay. He was a nutcase at Birmingham, wasn't he? Was it Birmingham? What for? He played for. When it comes to us, it comes that that hard man reputation a little bit, a little bit like Andy Morrison, if you like. Uh, but he settled down really, really quick at, at, at City, the did, did big TC. I thought he was a world-class keeper, and I could not believe he ended up sitting on the bench 
And yeah, it tarnished by going over to the rags. But it that won't affect my consideration for him being City's greatest keeper. I th you know, as, as we go on here, I, I'll make my mind up because I've honestly not made my mind up because I wanted, I wanted to do it. I didn't want to think about it. I wanted to do it fresh what, what, you know, while, while we're talking about it rather than go, have an answer. The, only, in the, the only reason he was on the bench is because of the manager. Um, they just didn't like him. Simple as. Yeah. Um, but why would you sacrifice your best keeper just because of your own personal taste? You know what I mean? You wouldn't. Obviously, you do things for the team, not just because it suits the manager. Anne Marie, TC was a world class. Pretty close to it, yeah. Pretty close to it. He didn't really play at the rags either, did he? No, no he, he didn't. He went from one bench to another. Yeah. That was staggering, that, considering he's... The reason, he's a... the reason they bought him, I think, is because he was so good and they didn't want us to have a good keeper. It's the only thing I can think of, the reason, because they didn't he play not, him. It was no Nile Quinn, was it? No. Do you remember, why does my hand keep going up? Pardon? He's got a little hand oh, in the corner oh, of his screen, hand. like right, he's okay. asking permission. Yes, no, sir. I like a ventriloquist, John. Please, sir, can I go to the toilet? Absolutely. So, yeah, for me, it was always, always baffling with CC because I, I consider him as world-class and very, very... Very close to probably my, my greatest keeper, but I think within this with three of us, I think if two decide on a keeper that, that you know the same keeper, I think that's got to win it for us. Obviously, but other people have different spins. Nicky Weaver. Um, I love Nicky he, Weaver. He's always going to have be up there, any because of. Because of the 99 playoffs, basically. Because of how he, how he stopped them penalties and his reaction at the end when he was running around the pitch. And it's just, it was just an amazing moment. And yeah, and even the year after, yeah, the year after Blackburn doing, doing the yeah. handstands and that. Right. Tepers to have amazing moments seem to last in your memory and stay up there. Take that game away then, John. Take, take, the, uh, take the 99 cup no, final. No, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I thought he was a fantastic keeper all his, career, all his, all his City career. I don't think he was world-class. I didn't say that. I didn't say world-class. Okay. You said he was a fantastic keeper. Most fantastic keepers are world class. Not necessarily. I considered Caballero fantastic keeper, but not world class. I consider Alex Williams a fantastic keeper, not world class. Okay, so what would you class as world class then? Somebody who's world class. Manuel Neuer. Manuel Neuer. <laughs> So, I'm at Nicky Weaver. Uh, by the way, I believe I got a call before he's still running around the Wembley pitch. Right. And the player's still chasing him. Yeah. Andy Morrison will just land on him. Yeah. But Weaver's, Weaver's got to be up there for, for it, hasn't it? Yes and no. Is that like maybe? Yeah. That like sitting on the fence and getting splinters up your ricker. Definitely. But it, it'll, it'll always be up there because of that game, but it's like I say, it's, that's your memorable moments because other games just don't seem to last in your memory. Mm. You, can't, you can't really seem to remember what he's done fantastic apart from that game. And like you said, the Blackburn antics. 
Yeah, yeah, I, I, I get what I get. What you're saying. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Big Joe Art. I love Joe Art. We know you do. The thing is, by the way, I've got his actual 2012 signed shirt on my on my wall. Good. That's never ever going to be sold. So, Matt, Matt McCarthy, if you're looking and you're watching, you ain't getting it. So, Joe I, 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 what One thing about Joe R, sometimes in the press and that, it come across arrogant and stuff like that. But maybe he was, was probably one of the first of the new breed who didn't take any, any how can I put it, because I can't swear, any rubbish from the interviewers and pundits and stuff like that. But ability, Joe Art was world class for me, Anne Marie. No. No, he wasn't. No. The reason being is he had a weak spot. He had a very weak spot down to his left hand side. Couldn't stop any <coughs> couldn't stop anything down to his left. Now, don't get me wrong. The game against Barcelona, it was unreal. But that was the game that convinced Pep that he wasn't he wasn't going to be City's goalkeeper if he came. Uh, his distribution was shocking. Always has been. Um, and again, a keeper he's always got he's always got a blunder in him. I mean. Think about was it was a game at Chelsea when they scored in the last few minutes because of him and whoever the defender was. Uh, think about when he played for England and Ibrahimovic beating him from yeah well outside the box with an overhead kick. It was embarrassing because he came out to do something that he wasn't capable of doing, and that's so for me. Yeah, he was a great keeper and was you know, integral in, in, in us winning our first title, but he's not, not world-class. Yes. Sentimental. That's what you were thinking, Matt. No, I thought it was con really consistent for us. It was, I thought your art was brilliant, mate. Brilliant. And it it's almost... Compared to what we had, he probably was. But not compared to nowadays. But hang on, hang on. Right. Before Pep come in, nobody pl nobody played like City do now by you know passing it out of the back and stuff like that. Nope. Joe White was the best keeper without a shadow of a doubt before Pep come in. I don't mean just for in the in the Premier League without a shadow of a doubt. What happened? Teams played different, John. Yeah, I know. Keepers have evolved. They've changed. No, but we, we, in my humble opinion, he's not getting the recognition of used to because he couldn't pass the ball out. No, football wasn't played like no, that. No, that's not the reason for me. The reason for me is what that's Anne-Marie not... said about him being beaten down to the left all the time. All people had to do was shoot down the left side of him and they scored. He couldn't, he you couldn't look at QPR's second, look at QPR's first goal. On that day, down to his left. Can't judge you for one one match. No, but I'm not. That's not. That's just that's one example one that match. I can give that's, you. Yeah. Okay, then for every negative, you give me. I'll give you a positive. Spurs away. Yeah. I'll, I'll put another spin on that. Remember Jekko that day? Well, not that. Well, scored four at Spurs away, didn't he? Yeah. Didn't mean he was a fantastic striker, world class striker, does it? He is a world class striker. No, he's not. Of course, he is. No, he isn't, Andy. Yes. Take off the blue tinted specs, mate. He it's didn't goal. work. Look, he scored important goals for us, I'll give you that, but he didn't work hard enough for City. He's still no. doing it now. He's still doing it now for Inter. Yeah, he that's did. Inter. It's different. It's for all. No. No. A goal, you can only score. Goals what I put in front of you. Yeah, and it took him on his 10th chance to actually do it. 
every time. Anyway, we're talking about keepers now. Forget Jekyll, come on. <clears throat> but it's the same situation, you know what I mean? Joao was not world class. I, I, need, I need to find two different panellists who agree with me. <laughs> That's your problem. Too easy to sit here and agree with you. Here's one for you, Shay Given. Yeah, I was going to mention Shay. Brilliant keeper. Absolutely brilliant keeper. You want it? Want it? Renowned to not being able to save anything on the right. Hello. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Shay she was a fa fantastic keeper. We didn't get him in his prime, but he did no. brilliant for us. But I will put him down as say City's greatest keeper. He was, yeah, he, he was, he was a likable lad. Yeah, as well. he still is. Um, the thing is, with Shea Given, he wasn't that tall either. No, he wasn't. But he was an absolute fantastic shot stopper. But you praising him for you praising him for that? Want Joao a fantastic shot stopper? Yeah, not down to his left. left. Ask anybody. Well, hopefully we'll get plenty of uh, comments and feedback after this because jo Joe's up there for me. Right. Any other keepers before I come on to our current one? Um, Niall Quinn. Let's say Niall Quinn. He, you know, scored one against Derby and uh, saved a penalty off Dean Saunders. No, come with, on. With, with John Burridge. Do you remember Big Scott John? Carson. Do you, me, do you remember Big John Burridge, though? Gunnar Nielsen. Yeah. One appearance. Tell you why I thought a potential. <clears throat> Angus Gunn. Uh. Yeah, he had potential. He, he, he lost his way a little bit, and I think that's why we sold him to Southampton, wasn't it? He lost his way a little bit, and he's not he's not a regular for Southampton now. But he had potential to go as far as far as he wanted to go. But obviously he didn't. He, before we go on to... Yeah, big, big pants. Six foot seven. Yeah. Big Pants and Big Willy. Yeah. That's a different podcast. Um, we've, had, we've had some great keepers, haven't we? You know, just, just going through through them. It's, we've, we've gone through, what, about nearly, nearly a dozen keepers. All right, let's go on about our current keeper, Mr. Edison. A different He's breed. Or as Aguero says, different gravy. Yeah. But the game has totally evolved. Keepers are not keepers anymore. He wouldn't have been a good keeper. He, 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 Edison's not a fantastic shot stopper. He's not. I was going to say that. No, I know he's not. His distribution's amazing. But if you've not got a good back four, then don't anybody, anybody will score against you. But he's quick out of his box and everything to clear stuff up if he can. Yeah. And that's, that for me is a, a big plus. I tell you what's a big plus for me. The Swiss flag. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. For me, it'd be brilliant if you could combine Edison with Joao. No, Edison. Uh, of what we saw the other night, Edison with Ortega. See, Ortega's on one. Didn't Ortega's debut? He made a blunder or something like that. I'm, sh I'm sure it's something where he made a, bl a blunder. No, you're thinking about um, uh, Bravo. One shot, one goal. What was his name? Bravo. Bravo, yeah. Yeah. Bravo was horrendous for us. But he had no confidence. The, the fans on his back all the time. 
they just he just got dropped in at the deep end and couldn't cope with it. I, be, I believe I Kimmel was very flexible when he was at City as a keeper and stuff. Um, but I wouldn't put him anywhere near that, would you? No. Why are you smiling? I'm a ring. No reason. Andy Dipple. Champagne Charlie. Uh, yeah, but... I... Okay, Andy Dibble. Yes, he was a... For me, he was just a, a very good keeper. Nothing... Nothing major. So, I think, unless we can think of anybody else, we're going to have to come up with the deed here, aren't we? I've got a feeling, I know, who you two are going to come up with. But I'm not just going to bow to your to your to your thoughts. Okay. So let's do a drum roll. Top three going backwards. Who would you have as your third best keeper in City's history so far? Some might say we've only got an history since 2008. So I would go on. Performance over a long period, I would probably say Nicky Weaver. And Marie? Joe Hart. Three? Yeah. Hang on, does anybody can do a drug test on this woman here? What? It's about opinions, Andy, and that's mine. Oh, you little... Uh, we've, we've just got a text from Mr. Mr. Prestige Car Repairs. Should we read it live on air? Go on then. Just got in, mate. Hey, I bet Rizzard have been a good keeper. Now I would have got past him, would it? Tell him, come on now then. He's not, he's just got him. So, Matt, Matt, if you've gone for... I'm going to have to go for Big TC, Tony Colton. So, we've got Joe Hart from Anne-Marie. We've got Nicky Weaver from John and Tony Cohn from me. Go on, John, kick off with your second second best keeper. Go on. Joe Hart. Why? He can't save anything to his left. That was his only fault, though. He had some fantastic games for us, and he stayed with us for a long time. Keep a crew. No, he's still a world-class, though. Oh, God. If anyone's listening and they want to come on the show instead of a uh, engine bracket here, you know, you more than welcome to. I'm already your second best keeper. Nicky Weaver. <laughs> I'm sure you two have before you come on. Uh, I'm going to go for Edison. Okay. I just think I just think football, Premier League, was a tougher place and a different kind of football and stuff than, than pre-Edison. I don't think Edison, I think he'd have been bamboozled before before Pep coming, if he, if he was in the team from, say, under Mancini or... Yeah, of course he would. It was a different style of football then. Like we were saying, keepers have evolved. Yeah, of course, of course they have. No, I, I totally agree with that, but Joe Hart's done it for a, a longer period of time. Okay. So I'm How would Joe go on in our current Edison. team? Edison's still oh, in the Champions League. Hey? Eh? I say Edison's still in the Champions League, unlike Joe Hart. So, are you point scoring there? No. Just making, you know, an observation. John, look at that smug look. So, yeah. I I just know what this one's going to be from you, Sue. You don't. I do. Go on, John. Who who would you consider City's greatest keeper? Joe You had him as number two, though. Go on, John. 
Is that his greatest keeper? Even though I never watched him live. No, this is on. This is this is based on who you've. And we said this at the start of the show. Based on who you have seen, unless you have seen Bert Troutman or Frank Swift. Well, no, I've never seen Bert Troutman, but I would probably say Bert Troutman was our greatest ever keeper. Why you've not seen him? I've seen him videos of him. I've seen the closest things. you've seen is is the keeper. No, I've seen actual footage as well. But how, how many keepers do you know? That would carry on playing with a broken neck. Nowadays, none. I'd say quite a few on su- Sunday League football. Absolutely. Yeah, Sunday League football, yeah, but not Premier League. Before they don't realise they're still drunk playing. No, but it's... Hey, listen, if you think if you think it's a... Uh, if your number one greatest ever keeper is... But it's weird. Number, Edison's number four for me. No, that, that's, that's fair enough. You know, not... I wouldn't have as far as I'm concerned, he's not an actual keeper. He's a 12th man. <laughs> he's a midfielder in goal. No, it's, it's your right to have Bert Ramon as number one, mate. Okay. And Marie. Sure. See, I'm glad you agree with me yet again. No, but I've put him in second, didn't I? Or third, sorry. I had yeah, you put him in third, place. I put him in second. Yeah. But it's a drug test, this woman. And again, I think I'd agree with John with Bert Troutman. What? Is this but, just because you're too old enough to remember him play? <laughs> no, not at all. But again, like you say, we've watched keepers go down over nothing over the years and act like they're dying. And yet this fella broke his neck, carried on playing and won us the cup. And... When you do, I know you're going to say that I'm basing it on just the film, The Keeper, but I didn't realise that he had a son that died as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I just think he was a credit to City. They gave him a chance and he did everything he could to take that chance and prove himself. And I think he did because he changed everyone's opinions of what was going on in the world at the time. So to me, it has to be him. And think of the ball as well, the Casey. Imagine trying to catch one of them. With no gloves on. Yep. See, that'd be against health and safety now, wouldn't it? All PP and stuff. <laughs> Where's your going on that field until you? Well, Andy, who's yours? I'm going to have to go for Mister Bert Roman. Joe Hart. Joe Hart. Got to. I've got to go for Joe Hart. I, re- I really, really have because I'm basing it. I, I, I understand what you two are basing it at, you know, like Bert Trout and stuff like that. Absolutely legend, legend, you know, but I'm basing it on people, well, keepers, what I've actually seen, you know, play live. And Joe Hart was just, he's just up there for me. Edison, he's a, Edison's always a... a a mistake, you know, wait, waiting to happen. He's not great at... That's what we used to say about Joe Hart, isn't it? But I'm also basing it on the type of football we played when when Joe Hart was number, number one for us. Yeah, the type of football that United play. Mm. But he had a Tony lot Co- Tony Cope was a better goalkeeper than Joe Hart. In your opinion. Exactly. But, yeah, and, and Big TC is number three for me, and, uh, you know, I've, I've already said that. Edison, like you sort of like said, John, is sort of a spectator at times. Yeah, his distribution is absolutely phenomenal. But I thought it, if he was peppered with shots week in, week out, He'd concede a lot of goals, in my humble opinion. Whereas Joe, and if he was peppered with shots week in and week out, he would probably get better. Yeah, you only need to look at the game last Saturday, Andy. We could have been three nil down within the first ten minutes if it hadn't been for Edison. Yeah, you know, look at yeah, you know, look at the game against Leicester with that Tielemann shot that would have gone in if it hadn't have been for Edison. So while you say he's not a great shot stopper. 
it's probably an element of his game that is improving. So you have to give him a bit of credit for that. Whereas Joe Hart, with all respect, was never going to be an Edison type of goalkeeper because he did not have the, the skill to distribute the ball like him. So would you put Edison ahead of Joe Hart? If I was being really honest, yeah, probably. I wouldn't. How come he's not in your top three then? Because I was being kind to you and putting Joe Hart in the top three. <laughs> Makes no I wouldn't put Edison in my top three because for me he's not a keeper, like I said. I know he's he's clear. I know he's a he's a keeper. I know his class is a keeper. I know his job's a keeper. But for me, he's not an actual shot stopping keeper. I'm I'm, ba I'm baffled by by some of the things I've said on this. <laughs> you said <laughs> no, seriously. I just joking aside. It just shows you what great keepers we, we've had. At times, we've needed really really good keepers because we've been that yeah. terrible and they've been you know peppered all the time. But yeah, I I just have to. I have to put big joke. So yeah, I understand why you've put Bert Troutman. You know, like I said earlier, you you saw him play live and stuff. But I've got to go for Joe Hart. Okay. But like I say, two versus one. Uh, we're gonna. Have no, to... no, it's fine. Put it out on the group after and tell yeah. them who we all picked. And no, and, and you know something, I, I won't say. Used to a, a crackheads for picking Bert Troutman. <laughs> I, I couldn't go against what you've said because it was a you know, you're wrong, yeah. Footage. Okay, you know, thanks so, for admitting that. No, I, you know, I'm, I'm always fair, you know that. So, Bert Troutman, City's greatest keeper. How many more keepers would have a film made about him? Uh, what was that fisherman called? That's what called. Oh, Keep net. But no, no, you, you're right. But I think, apart from the prisoner of war stuff, that's why he's had a film made about him. You know, to be fair. Yeah, but he's also like you say, he's got a statue. Oh, brilliant! Yeah, he's had the statue for a long, long time. I'm not trying to talk myself out of. Saying he's a great keeper because he was. I've not got a, a negative thing to say about him. The thing is, most people won't know he's actually got a statue. No, yeah, because unless you do the tour, you wouldn't see it. Yep. Or oh, celebrity, celebrity John normally uh, walks through there when he's going to his office. <laughs> so, yeah, it looks, looks like you've got your way again, doesn't it? Yeah. Keep ganging up on you, don't we? Good choice, good choice, but not my choice. You know, it's fine. You're, you're quite welcome to that. But isn't it interesting that none of us, well, Anne Marie's got Edison. Did you, was, number two, Edison, was it? Oh, no, you've not even got Edison, have you? No. Isn't it interesting that both of you have not got Edison in your top three, even though Edison is a world, you no, know, Edison is a world class keeper. I'm not, I'm not knocking him in any way, shape, or form. But, but as John says, he's not. He, He's not so much a keeper as he is a sweeper. Midfielder. <laughs> mm. I don't know. No, it's a fair point. I, I, I was actually surprised. I thought he was both going to go for Edison. You know, but... I, mem I remember a, there was a charity game that Edison played in it. And I think he played as a striker that day. Yeah, I think he scored, he scored four. two goals, didn't he? I think it was four goals he scored, wasn't he? Yeah. So, you know what I mean? He can play. He can probably play anywhere on the pitch. Yeah, no, I agree. So yeah, City's greatest keeper in your opinion, and you know we'll put we'll put it out there, is Big Bert Troutman. But most people won't probably have heard of him, especially the, you know the new supporters and that lot. And it depends for if if anybody watches this, it depends what they base it on. Whether it's oh my dad said Bert Troutman was a great keeper, so I'll go for Bert Troutman, or or their favourite, you know. They'll base it on 
say a twenty a twenty year old won't remember the likes of like Dicky Weaver and stuff like that. So it, it it may it may be you know di- different different yeah, opinions. It's, you know, it's different. all about opinions, isn't it? It's all about opinions. Mm-hmm. And again, you'd be able to tell how old people are by who they pick. Yeah. That sounds it quite wrong for us two, though, you know what I mean? I know, I know, I just <laughs> thought that. As I watch him killing himself laughing, yeah? <laughs> he went for Frank Swift, didn't he? I remember, I remember, I remember. Uh, so, that, that concludes... Thanks for joining us. I, I, I do... Well, to the half hour, anyway. No, I know. It just shows, you know, it's... I, I love doing these because it's... You can get into, you know, especially like there's no football on or anything like that. And it's, it's just good to, you know, just do something different because it's things like this are not normally spoken about, are they, you know, in, in the, the height of the season and stuff like that. So thank you for joining us, guys. All right. No problem. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick you off now, if you don't mind. That's fine. No problem. All right, we'll do it again. We'll we'll pick a topic for the next one. Okay. okay. And see if you can get it right this time. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.